Well hello everyone and welcome to the plot tour at the end of November and Storm Bert has uh, just whistled through, knocked a few things over um, but prior to that we had three nights of frost which saw to the uh, the dahlias, cosmos etc and then before that it was quite mild and wet so the, uh, the grass has been growing but we've not been able to cut it so things have been chopped down here we've kind of let the weeds do their thing at the front or we'll work out what's there and uh, see what survives the winter tulips and daffodils and things are in various planters we still have one pot of uh, potatoes to harvest and the blueberries all the leaves are off and I'm crossing my fingers they're going to survive and the strawberries have been weirdly doing their growing lots towards the um, east here but not towards the west that's probably the wind that's just blowing them and most of the dahlia prunings I took off the bank I've put into this bed here just for some extra mulch keep that protected over the winter and the black currants they are now dormant as much as they ever are and I will have to do some pruning on that I see some crossing branches and old wood that needs taking out this gooseberry is just dying down again that needs some pruning we still have some carrots and the frosts haven't been bad enough that uh, the carrots will have turned to mush so they should be okay and no sign of the spring bulbs coming up in the strawberry bath quite yet so everything is uh, dying down in the meadow and there are a few things that are still alive still got some sweet alisum doing its thing got lots of uh, spring bulbs coming up underneath the rose there I'll have to give that a final prune at some point the fallow bed, the, all the chicory bits and stuff are uh, dying down that's got a lot of cover, it's going to take quite a while to uh, break down which is useful now the bean wigwams, they're breaking down a lot quicker might have to uh, add some compost on here just to protect the soil we've got a sandy silty soil so uh, uh, during the winter um, it can get a bit smeary if it's not protected a kind of rogue shallot over in that corner there it's rooted itself so we'll just let it do its thing so there's garlic in there and this is the uh, former pepper and tomato bed I've just hacked down the marigolds any so oh yes we've got some uh, got some mersley coming up there so the uh, brussels sprouts have basically stopped growing there are some sprouts on them we didn't really stake them they should be higher than this but <laughs> they're kind of going horizontal um, but we'll probably have a harvest at some point maybe christmas so this is all uh, mulched over with uh, our own compost so nothing in there as yet and the peach is just dying back from his, uh, its pruning, its major pruning we were wondering why the, um, the Brussels sprouts at this end were struggling but I think um, it's to do with the, the roots of the peach it's a hunch anyway so everything has been neatened up around here I have done the compost flip I only do that twice a year that's given me about six bags of compost about 200 litres that we can use on the plot as and when so I've chopped down the marigolds that'll die down and uh, by the time it's died down the uh, tulips will come will be appearing in the spring I've neatened up this bed 
This had uh, Nicotiana and Cosmos and things in it that had just been had by the frost. And there are signs already of, um, there's a little shoot there, of the daffodils coming up. So all the leaves and fruit are off the red love and I can now see what I've got to play with in terms of tying in more branches and doing a bit of a prune. I need to tidy up. So even the Amistad has gone, which is sad. It's usually quite uh, hardy for early frosts. And I have uh, basically neatened up everything along here, taken down the dahlias, asters, mulched everything with some wood chip. I'm hoping that's enough to protect the dahlias over winter. They're usually pretty safe up on the bank. So I have left one Nicotiana. I don't know why, it's well protected, but it's not going to flower. You can see the tips have been frosted. And the raspberries, they will be needing a prune. There's been quite a bit of grass and nettles and stuff sort of encroaching underneath. That can be sometimes a bit tricky to deal with with um, raspberries. So we might have to do a thorough job in trying to get that out. And the uh, sweet alisum doing its thing down the bottom there. So the area where the sweet corn was, that's basically become a sort of a composting area. Got the residues breaking down. Haven't harvested a parsnip yet. Um, if the foliage was anything to go by, they're not going to be that good. But, um, you know, might be surprised, we'll see. And we've got some garlic in here. And we've got some leeks down there. They're starting to sort of recover from their allium leaf miner attack, if that's even possible. And we've got more garlic in here. I can't see any signs of anything yet. A couple more cabbage heads, a few beetroot. But my goodness, those cabbage heads, they, don't, they last us. As if one cabbage head can last at least a month in the fridge and be perfectly fine. Got lots of garlic in here. We've uh, put in some uh, maddock and we've got some elephant garlic in here. But this is not the official garlic bed, and so we're really just uh, putting it all over the place just to hedge our bets. So the dahlias have been hacked down, and I have mulched, mulched them, their crowns with their own foliage. But there's still a fair bit of greenery. There's Phacelia and the uh, Ridgeron here. Although they've hardly got many f any flowers on them, they haven't uh, died back yet. No sign of the spring bulbs in the troughs. Sadly, <laughs> as we can see from the damage here, um, Storm Burt completely mashed up this obelisk. And I've had to sort of put in some stakes and lift up this uh, thornless blackberry. So I'll have to think about what I'm going to do. With hindsight, a £10 obelisk from Amazon was, was probably not going to be strong enough to con cope with the, the weight uh, of the bush and some heavy winds. And yes, we've got some more mulch down dahlias. Well, we'll have to start uh, hoping that we get some more free manure delivered so I can mulch over the, um, the rhubarb. And that's it. Hope everybody's keeping well. I will catch you in next month's tour. Bye for now.